The power of desire, opportunity, and perseverance. Study these three powerful tools and put them to work for you so you can become an unstoppable force. What is desire? Desire is a strong feeling of wanting to have something or praying for something to happen. Praying that your vision will come to pass. Praying that your goals will come to pass. A strong desire of the plans that you put in action will come to pass. How bad do you want it? That's desire. What are you going to do about it? How bad do you want it? Next there's opportunity. Opportunity is a set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. All you need is an opportunity. We are in the land of opportunity. And what I like about the definition, it says that it's a set of circumstances. It didn't say if it was fair or unfair. It just said that it's an opportunity. What are you going to do with the opportunity that you have right now? What are you going to do with the opportunity? Make the most of it. And next we have perseverance. Perseverance means to continue in a course of action, even in the face of difficulty, with little or no prospect of success. To persist in anything undertaken, to maintain a purpose in spite of difficulty, obstacles or discouragement, to continue steadfastly. The problem is, once we get our desire, once we get the opportunity, then we come against opposition and the first sign of opposition, we fail, we quit, we give in, we cave in under the pressure and we come so far and then we quit. So we have to develop the perseverance muscle and once you develop your perseverance muscle, you're going to press and you're going to press and you're going to press. You're going to have difficulty. Difficulty, you're gonna have obstacles, you're gonna have discouragement. But when you keep pushing and you keep pressing, even with all of the opposition, you're gonna develop that perseverance muscle. And that is the winning combination that you need to become an unstoppable force. You need to have a strong desire, you need to have an opportunity, and then you need to have a perseverance spirit. And once you put all three of those together, you're gonna become an unstoppable force. Will it be easy? No. Is it possible? Yes. You need to say that to yourself. It's possible. Say it again. It's possible. Say it again. It's possible. How bad do you want it? Weak desire bring weak results. Strong desire brings strong results. The best example of these three powerful tools in action is found in the movie Men of Honor, based on the true story of Carl Bashir, played by Cuba Gooding Jr. He joined the U.S. Navy in 1948. Carl Bashir's heart desire was to overcome racism and become the first black American Navy diver. After years of perseverance, applying over and over to get into diving school, he finally got his opportunity. He was selected to attend diving and salvage school. The school commanding officer ordered Master Chief Sunday to ensure that Carl Bashir fails. Opposition. Understand that there are powers that be, that you can't see, that express itself through people. Your problem is not with people, because a negative attitude towards others will never bring you success. Plus the fact that Carl Bashir had to overcome his educational shortcomings due to leaving school early to work on his family's failing farm. Bashir studied and worked hard to pass in the classroom. So all he has to do now to graduate is assemble a flange underwater using a bag of tools. This scene is called, Till He Stops Moving. The commanding officer instructs Master Chief Sunday to not bring Bashir up until he stops moving. Meaning that, do not let him graduate today. So what he did was, cut the bag of tools open and then dumped them on the ocean floor. His opportunity. Was it fair? No. But his desire. He wanted it. He thought about all that he had to do to get to this point. He wasn't going to quit. He took his flashlight. He looked for every tool that was on the ocean floor. And he found it piece by piece. And he put the flange together. And he stayed there as long as he had to. And his mindset was, I'm not coming up until I get the job done. And I like that. Because that's where I'm at right now. I'm at the bottom of the ocean floor. And I'm trying to piece this thing together piece by piece. And I'm trying to get it to come and fit together like a flange so I can pass to the next level. And I refuse to come up until I put it together. I refuse to come up. I refuse to give up. Up. I refuse to stop now and this is where perseverance come in my desire I want it you've given me an opportunity I'm gonna take advantage of the opportunity and so now I'm just gonna persevere I'm gonna push through I'm not coming up I'm not coming up I'm not coming up until I get this thing done until I put this thing together and I'm gonna put it together and then I'm gonna rise up and when I rise up I can look back and see what I've done I can see what I put together I can see all the hard work that I put in and I understand that the two that I use, the desire, the opportunity that I had, even if it wasn't fair, I took advantage of the opportunity, I made the most of it, I fought, I scratched, I clawed, and then I persevered through all of the opposition, through all that I went through, and I'm going to finish, and I'm going to finish strong.
And that's what you gotta do. You gotta finish, you gotta finish strong. You gotta use these tools to strengthen your muscles. How bad do you want it? What is your desire like? You gotta strengthen your desire muscle. How are you looking at your opportunities? You have an opportunity. Is it fair? Is it unfair? Do you have an opportunity? Take advantage of your opportunity. Right where you are. And then persevere. Persevere through everything. The hurt, the pain, the struggle. See the finish line. See the goal. See your vision fulfilled. See your goals reached. But you gotta want it. You gotta want it bad. No one's gonna do it for you. Take advantage of the opportunity. Persevere. Use these three tools for your good, for your benefit, and success is inevitable.